Coming up on Inside Lee University Basketball, highlights of three Lady Flames victories and a couple of games for the men, including a huge home court win against a nationally ranked team. That'll be coming up in our highlights section. We'll also have a profile of Coach Tony Cavett and the Lee tennis team. All that and much, much more straight ahead. Stay with us. Welcome in everybody to this week's edition of Inside Lee University Basketball. I'm Randy Smith, Coach Marty Rowe joins us now, head coach of the Lady Flames. Three more big victories for your team. We have highlights of three games and uh, two of them were conference games, so you, you guys are really playing well at the right time. Yeah, I mean it was a good week. I mean it was, uh, obviously played out the way we wanted it to and, and uh, had a couple home games but had a really nice road win mm -hmm. that we'll show you here in a minute at Bernal. All right, let's take a look first of all at the game at Bernal. Lady Flames, of course, in the traveling maroon uniforms. Yeah, we, uh, we got off to a pretty decent start, got out to a, a, a nice lead, but uh, give Bernal credit, they are fighting for a fifth place uh, seed in our tournament, and they uh, played us really, really tough. We had some breakdowns, got in foul trouble, and uh, actually uh, went in at halftime down eight in this half, and we haven't been behind at half uh, very much all year long. So. Uh, for us to uh, hang in there at this place and, and get a win was a, was a nice sign for our team. But uh, see Holly German right here, they tried to gamble on her. She, she uh, kind of stayed strong with it, made a good move. Uh, you know, Bernal is one of these places I was talking to my assistant and, uh, you, know, you know, who's been with me uh, either playing or as a coach up there. And we've never really played well there. And you got to give them some credit and maybe you know, we've got to think about doing something different as far as the day of the game or whatever in order to give ourselves a chance to play better. But, uh, you know, they jumped on us about halfway through this first half and did a really good job. See, Mary Jackson made a big move down the stretch for us right there. And, uh, but, like I said, we hung in there. Jenna Adams making a nice move. Uh, uh, got the ball inside to her, played pretty well in this game. Carly Miller played really well in this game. And our two forwards gave us a big pickup. It was usually our guards carrying us. But we got some offensive rebounds. Speak of the devil, Carly with a big uh, rebound there, and Rachel Lockhart with a nice uh, pass to her. Made a lot of hustle plays down the stretch, and in a game like this, hustle plays mean a lot. And then, uh, of course, if we can get Angela and Holly and Callie a shot late, these, these guys are shot makers right there. Is, is uh, Callie making one and Ange making one as well. So, uh, uh, again, it was a nice way for us to finish out uh, you know, or start the week, let's put it mm -hmm. that way, uh, going up there and playing pretty well. You know, late in the game, we're trying to wind clock down, people get out on us. We usually let Holly uh, kind of go one-on-one -on -one and, and set her some high screens and stuff. But again, uh, an extra pass here and there, some nice finishes by Carly and, and some nice hustle plays, and, and uh, we were able to stretch this one out and win. 72-60, 12 point victory for the Lady Flames as that's win number 25 on the year for them. Holly German with 21 points as she hit six out of 10 from the floor and Carly Miller added 13 points and eight rebounds. Next up for your team, a home game against Southern Poly at the Walker Arena. And uh, this in the past has been a really tough game uh, between these two teams. Yeah, it is. I mean, over the last several years, I mean, this has been the team in the conference that has been uh, challenges for first place. And mm -hmm. we actually, you know, shared the conference title with them last year on the east side. But, uh, you know, they're a little down this year. And uh, it's, uh, but it's still awfully fun. Our girls get excited about playing them. And, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, this was a good win for us. I mean, anytime you can beat a Southern Poly team, you're happy about it. You know, they're very physical. Uh, got a transfer from, uh, Mississippi State that uh, is their point guard and she does a good job for them. She's hard to guard and uh, you know we got out in, off to a pretty good start in this game. I mean we jumped out, got all over them early. Um, I think led at by 19 or 20 at the mm -hmm. half and you know they made a little bit of run in the second half but we were able to, again Holly had a big week. I think Holly you know averaged 19 points this week and shot 
55% from the three, he went like nine of 17 from the three for the whole week. But we were able to be real aggressive uh, early, especially switching their screens. They run a lot of high screens. And we're not really scared at that four spot. You see uh, Carly making a really good pass right there to Madison Lee. Uh, we're not really scared to switch uh, some screens with certain teams, especially with Mary and Rachel Lockhart. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were able to really pressure them and do some good things to see us kind of pull it out and uh, spread the court. And Callie makes a nice positive move. Holly standing her up and going by. She just sometimes, you know, um, she just really surprises us. She's a really young kid too, to be that good. Mary Jackson with a big move right there. When we can get her involved in the offense and doing things, it makes us even better. See, Brooke Hamby came in. We got a ton of really good minutes off of our bench this week. And uh, that's a really good sign for us right now. See Mary stepping out, making a three right there. Uh, and she's got to do that. Her and Rachel Lockhart both have got to make some threes for us when uh, people are laying off of them. But, uh, uh, this is one of these games where we love you know, to play. I mean, mm -hmm. our, our girls love this game. They love to play against Southern Poly. Uh, and for us to be able to, again, uh, to beat them and beat them, uh, you know, kind of handily right there, uh, says a lot about our team. You see Mariah Isles came in again, that bench came in and gave us a big, big lift. Uh, again, Angel Spann with a nice kick out to Holly. We shared the ball well all week long. And that's the thing I think I care, uh, think most about this team is, you know, uh, it's a team that's got a lot of people that can play and a lot of people that can score. And when we share the ball and want to share the ball the right way, we're awfully tough to guard. So, a uh, good win. We're really excited about it, obviously. Lee comes out with a 15-point win at home as Holly German added uh, or scored 22 points to lead the way, had three rebounds. She shot very, very well, hitting eight out of 12 from the floor. Angela Spann tossed in 13 points and four boards. Lee was 27 and one going into their final game of the year. This was also our final non-conference game of the year. This one was against Voorhees College at home. And uh, coach, we'll have, take a look at that game in just a moment. Stay with us, all right? We'll be back with more Inside Lee University Basketball right after this. I'm Ken Jones, inviting you to visit the all-new SpeakingDeacon.com where you'll find everything you're looking for. Browse over 1,000 vehicles, including 12 new car brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. Apply for financing, get a value for your trade-in, schedule a service appointment, download monthly service coupons, and find the Deacon Jones store nearest you. It's all right here at SpeakingDeacon.com. Speaking Deacon, Speaking Deacon. Are you Speaking Deacon? He never did tell me we might be alone. How did she always make it look so easy? Sometimes you just need someone to talk to. We offer support groups to help with grieving or just talking and sharing. These support groups are another of our commitments to you. At Jim Rush Funeral Homes, we believe life is worth remembering with compassion and respect. We will continue this tradition that has set us apart for so many years. Jim Rush Funeral Homes, it's all about life. North Okoy and Wildwood Chapels. Welcome back to Inside Lee University Basketball. I'm Randy Smith. Coach Marty Rowe is on the show first with us this week, the head coach of the Lady Flames. We've taken a look at two conference victories, and now, Coach, it's a non-conference game, but it's a home game as this past Saturday against Voorhees. Yeah, senior night, and Voorhees is a team that uh, is an independent, so they were uh, uh, looking for games this mm -hmm. time of year. And uh, we knew they had a good team last year and had a good team this year. They were 15-11 coming in. and. Uh, but we needed, we didn't want to take two weekends off, and, right. and if uh, the way our conference schedule fell, uh, we need to pick up a game. So uh, we were glad we could work it in, and, and obviously uh, it was nice to be able to uh, uh, play one more home game mm -hmm. and give our seniors a chance to get it, uh, to play a little bit. We got off to a good start again. Uh, you know, we started all five seniors. Three of them don't get to play all that much. They they get to play in certain op uh, situations, but uh, you see Madeline Doyle being one of them got out and ran the court and did a good job early. 
Uh, but Callie and Ann's really did a good job of, uh, of making sure we had everybody involved early. And, uh, you know, Angela got off to a great start in this game, you know, and kind of kind of got it jump started. We made a bunch of threes early. They went to a 2-3 zone and a 1-2-2. Two, two, and, and we got hot, made six threes in the first half, shared the ball again there as uh, Carly Miller making a nice extra pass. And when you got your post players making extra passes out there, mm -hmm. uh, you, can get, uh, you can get some things done. But we got the, got the ball in the middle against their zone and, and really created a lot of problems. And uh, this is one of those days where we were, you know, as we're going through it, we're telling everybody, hey, one more pass. If you'll just make that one extra pass, we're going to turn a better shot, uh, a good shot into a better shot. And we did that in the first half. But, you know, to give, uh, you know, give them some credit, I mean, boy, he's hung in there. They were a tough matchup. Uh, I think we were up, um, oh, I don't know, uh, you know, 12, 15 at the half, something like that. Uh, and they came right back to start the second half and cut this thing to, you know, I think nine points. And, mm -hmm. uh, and then we, we calmed down, called timeout, calmed down, got the ball inside a couple times, uh, and then got out on the break and really started doing some uh, really good things offensively and stretched this thing back out, kind of warmed down a little bit. See Carly getting out on the break right there and a nice pass by Callie. But uh, again, to be able to uh, finish up at home and have our seniors you know, run the table right here and, and go 16-0 and 0 at home this year uh, says a lot about our team and a lot about how much pride we take in our home court. And uh, you can see a great second effort play right there by Larissa Latasheva. We're really glad that she got a, got a chance to score right there. But uh, uh, just a super way to end the year at home mm -hmm. in front of our home fans. And, and obviously being able to go undefeated at home this year was a big deal. 78-51, the final score. A big win for the Lady Flames. Holly German with 14 points, four rebounds and two assists. Angela Spann with 15 points, six rebounds and three assists. As Lee ends the week 28-1, you have a big, big game left. It's uh -huh. at Shorter. The men also play at Shorter uh, this coming week. And yep. I know that's going to be a big, big contest for you because right now you got a four-game lead, but they're the number two team, and they've got an awfully good record. Yeah, I mean, they're a good team. And, I mean, this is the kind of team that we want to play going into the conference tournament. We, we should not see another uh, team that, not, that can't compete with us. And, mm -hmm. and so for us to be able to play them, which is a team as a national tournament caliber team, they're going to be in the national tournament. Uh, it, it, it will tell us what we need to work on that whole week preparing for the conference tournament. And hopefully we can use the conference tournament to prepare to go to the national tournament. So this is a great game for us, win or lose. We want to go down there and compete and try to, uh, you know, give ourselves a chance to win. And mm -hmm. uh, if we do, well, that'd be great. Time to take a look around the Southern States Athletic Conference. And we'll start with the women first, as always. The Women's Player of the Week, well, that's Bell Havens. Uh, Reg, uh, Regina Jackson, she's the Player of the Week award winner and the NAI National Player of the Week once again. She averaged 34 points, three rebounds, three and a half assists, and three steals. She hit 39% from the floor, 42% from behind the three-point line, and 91% from Charity Lane. In the women's standings in the Eastern Division, Lee is on top 19-0, 28-1 overall. And the Lady Flames have a four-game lead over Shorter as they play there for the final game this season. Emmanuel is next at 11-6, and, and they are seven games out of first place. In the Western Division, quite a tougher battle going on for the top spot. Bellhaven 15-2. They have a two-and-a-half game lead over Loyola, 12-4. And, and then following them is Faulkner, William Carey, Auburn Montgomery, Mobile, and Spring Hill. For the men's play this week, the SSAC Player of the Week is Daryl Arnold of Bellhaven University, the 6'6 senior forward, averaged 23 and a half points, seven rebounds, and he shot 54% from the floor, 79% from the free throw line. He's the Player of the Week. And in the men's standings in the Eastern Division, shorter in front by two and a half games over Southern Poly and Lee. The uh, shorter team, 15 and one overall, 26 and two. Uh, overall, they're 15 and one in the league. And in the Western Division, quite a battle as it has been all year. Loyola now in front with a nine and seven league mark. Mobile is tied for the top spot. And Bellhaven at nine and eight is only a half game back. William Carey is a game back at eight and eight. And Faulkner, 
two games back at seven and nine. Spring Hill only three games behind. They're six and ten. And bringing up the bottom end of the Western Division is Auburn Montgomery. Fazoli's is the most family-friendly Italian restaurant in town. All the fresh and flavorful meals are served right at your table on real dishes with real silverware instead of foam or plastic. Enjoy a clean, contemporary dining room and the excellent service you would normally expect from an expensive sit-down restaurant. For less than the price of a burger and fries, you can get a delicious hot meal like baked spaghetti, pizza, and all the breadsticks you can eat. It's fast, fresh Italian. It's Fazoli's. Welcome back to this week's edition of Inside League University Basketball. I'm Randy Smith, coach Tommy Brown of the Lee Flames joins us now. Coach, you had a couple of big games, both against nationally ranked competition. The first one was a home game last Thursday against Southern Poly, the number four team in the country and a team from our conference is doing very, very well. They are doing very well. Uh, we played the most complete game we played all year, played two halves and uh, had a big win. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look at it. The Flames in their home white in front of a packed house at the Walker Arena. It was a great crowd, and uh, Southern Poly can really shoot the three, mm -hmm. Randy. As we talked about the first time we played them, they've got 11 different guys that can shoot the three, and um, which is unheard of. So uh, they really shot it well early, and we shot it well. And um, you can see, you're just going to see a lot of three balls going in. And uh, Tyrone Caldwell, who's been a great player for us, Chad Lee came and hit two big ones, and uh, we felt like if we could spread the floor against Polly, that it would be uh, very effective. They're a run and jump kind of team, a lot of pressure, a lot of traps, and so we felt like we could, you know, get the people in the corners, get some good spacing, that uh, we'd be effective offensively. And uh, Chad Lee really spreads the floor for us. You see Pat Shaughnessy uh, from Chattanooga, another Chattanooga boy, throwing it there, hitting the three Oxwells, three Chattanooga guys right mm -hmm. here, but. Uh, you can see we wanted to get in and dish out. Ryan Westbrook had, uh, I believe, 29 points in this game. Nice Had game. a tremendous game. Bryce Sharp from uh, Charleston here is, is just a tremendous human being and uh, going to be mayor of Cleveland someday. Maybe governor of Tennessee, Randy. Could Bryce be. Bryce Sharp, Could be. you heard it first I, I, from me. I so. know Bryce Sharp. Yeah, he's very, very nice. Young great man. kid. So, uh, But you can see Tyrone Caldwell is the catalyst for almost everything we do. You know, he's, he's creating all those shots. The assists were definitely wrong. They said he had three assists in the first half, which is crazy. So, but 52 points in the first half, Randy, probably our best half scoring of the year. And in the second half, Polly came out, made a little run, uh, but we responded to it very well. And, and every time we needed a big shot, Ryan Westbrook was there for us. Uh, maybe his best game. He was. Player of the Week in the Southern States Athletic Conference this week. The big fella, uh, when he is able to stay out of foul trouble, when he's <laughs> active for us and feeling good, then he is really good for us inside. Scores the ball, gives us a great inside option there. You see the soft baby hook he's got. And, uh, but you know, he's, he has the body of about a 40 year old. So sometimes he's, he's good and warm for us. And then other times he takes him a little while to get loose. So uh, he's one of the keys. Here's Johnny Gadette with an emphatic finish to this game. This was a lot of fun. We got to clear the bench. And when you beat the number four team in the country by 25 points, you got to feel pretty that, good about it. You're exactly right. That was impressive. 93 to 68, the final. Ryan Westbrook's 27 points, six rebounds. He hit 10 out of 14 from the floor. And the big Steve Bennett, the big fella, the big with a 40-year-old body, <laughs> uh, must have had the uh, younger body working because he had 13 yeah. points and nine boards. And then after the game with Southern Poly, you jump right from the frying pan into the fire. It was a non-conference game, but it was yeah. against Mountain State, also a top 10 nationally ranked team and a perennial 
power in NAIA basketball. Right. I, I think they've been in four of the last ten finals. Mm -hmm. uh, their coach, Bob Bowling, is the all-time winningest coach in West Virginia history at any mm -hmm. level, which is quite quite a statement. So uh, tough for us to have to play Saturday after a huge win on Thursday. Yeah. I wish we had some more time, but that's not how the schedule fell. Uh, this was senior night. We have uh, five terrific seniors. Uh, Ed Pelrosa is, uh, hasn't gotten to play a ton for us, but he's a, a great human being and really a, a solid player. Tyrone Caldwell, who we've talked about a lot this year, one of the best players I've ever had and one of the most valuable players I've ever had. Josh Henley uh, with a finish right there. Josh is a 6'2 post player who just gets everything out of his ability. Mm -hmm. Tremendous rebounder and uh, just I'm so proud to of Coach Josh. Um, you know, Mountain State is an incredibly long team. You know, they've got uh, a uh, seven-footer that plays a ton. They've got a 6'11 guy. They're, they're as big as any team at any level in the country. And uh, they got off to a great start in the first half. Alex Wells has had a solid year for us. You know, we mentioned Ryan Westbrook earlier. Uh, as being you know, our leading scorer, done a great job. I'm missing one senior, Johnny Goodett, uh, who's mm -hmm. an incredible athlete, was actually on ESPN twice last year for dunks, and, and so I'm just really proud of our senior class. We came out and played a very good second half. You see the big fella ducking in the seven-footer and scoring over him, showing some excitement. He's, got, he's always very enthusiastic. That's a, actually a 7-2 guy, Randy, uh, who originally signed with West Virginia. Great pass by Ryan Westbrook. We uh, played really well for about 10 minutes here. And uh, you can see we're down 10 and we come storming back and hit some good threes. You know, again, Tyrone Caldwell's the catalyst. Great pass by Westbrook. Westbrook's not exactly known mm -hmm. for his passing ability. He's more known for his scoring. And the uh, crowd was great and into it. Uh, a lot of local community came to this game. And uh, we really took control of this. With about three minutes left, we're up five. You can see here Tyrone hitting the big shot. And uh, then it comes down to a big free throw late. We foul late, which we shouldn't have. And then here's the shot to almost win the game. Uh, so one point loss. Mm. Very Tough deflating. one. Very Tough deflating. one to lose on senior night. 83-82 the final, Mountain States escapes Walker Arena with a one-point victory. Ryan Westbrooks with 20 points, four rebounds. He was five of 12 from behind the three-point line. And uh, the Flames wind up this portion of the schedule, actually their conference schedule, as they uh, lose 83-82 to to Mountain State. Well, you got one more game, however, against Carver. It's here at home next week. Let's talk about them briefly. Well, we play shorter Thursday. Shorter, that's right, actually, shorter. Yeah, number one that's team shorter, in the yeah. country. Yeah. yeah, so they're number one. Uh, uh, Polly's number four, and Mountain State number nine. So well, Steve Bennett toughest. may have a forty-year-old body, but I have a sixty-year-old brain. So we just kind of lost a <laughs> game in there somewhere. But well, I hope Steve Bennett has a. Uh, I hope his body's <laughs> in good shape for Thursday because right. we're definitely going to need him going on the road. So. Uh, uh, just a brutal stretch. Yeah. Three top ten teams in a row. So. Well, yeah, well, you you beaten one, lost one by one point. Right. Let's go down there and get that victory. It'd be a good one. All right. Good luck, Coach. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Andy. Stay with us. We'll be back with more Inside Lee University Basketball right after this. At Sky Ridge Medical Center, we believe every moment is important. That's why, whatever you encounter on the road of life, Sky Ridge Medical Center will be there for you and your family. You can count on our experienced, dedicated staff to provide quality health care and the advanced medical technology you need, so you don't miss one special moment. Sky Ridge Medical Center, your hospital for a lifetime. I'm Ken Jones, inviting you to visit the all-new SpeakingDeacon.com where you'll find everything you're looking for. Browse over 1,000 vehicles, including 12 new car brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. Apply for financing, get a value for your trade-in, schedule a service appointment, download monthly service coupons, and find the Deacon Jones store nearest you. It's all right here at SpeakingDeacon.com. Speaking Deacon, Speaking Deacon. 
Are you speaking, Deacon? Welcome back. Time now for our Eye on Lee Athletics. Coach Tony Cavett is the leader of the Lee men's and women's tennis team. And both of his teams, the men and the women, are currently ranked among the top 25 teams in the NAIA preseason polls. They're also looking forward to competing for an SSAC championship and making the national tournament as well. Reporter John Bowling has more in this report. The Lee University men's and women's tennis team began their season just the other day, and they're very excited about where they're headed. Both teams have changed a great deal from last spring, but their confidence couldn't be any higher. Stephanie Todd has been one of the big stories of the season thus far, and I had a chance to talk with her and a few others about the state of the tennis team. I decided to come out to the tennis team because I used to play when I was younger. It was actually my sport before I picked up volleyball. And I played till I was about 13 and decided to take a break. And then I came back and played in high school. And so I was kind of getting sad about quitting volleyball and being done with that. So I wanted to pick up something that would keep me busy. And so tennis was my kind of my outlet for staying busy and having fun for my last semester. I loved her. I've known her all four years, so her coming onto the team was not a big transformation at all. So um, her playing volleyball actually gives her an upper hand here playing tennis with the serve and with her volley. So, and she'd been playing her whole life anyway, so she's been a good addition to the team. Coach Cavett believes Stephanie and her teammates are ready for a championship. You know, as always, it's with both teams, our goal is to be in Mobile, Alabama in May at the national championship. And I feel like that both teams have a chance to go this year. Last year, the girls were able to go and actually, for the first time in the history of the women's program, win a first round match and go on to the second round. So hopefully we get there and then we're able to be at least as successful as we were last year. The goal as a team, I think everybody, everybody wants to make the nationals. To make the nationals, we need to battle each match and do our best and I'll win as, as many matches as we can. So we want to make the Nationals go to Alabama at the end of the semester. That's our goal. I think we will go to Nationals. We are top, we are ranked 13 this year and that's the highest Lee's ever been and I think we can make top 10 and hopefully do a little bit better Nationals than we did last year. That's my last semester so I want to make it good. I want to make, I want to make the Nationals everybody on the team. So. The Flames are only two games into their season, but as you can see, they're focused on continuing their success. With Inside Lee University Basketball, I'm John Bowling. Be sure and join us next week for more Inside Lee University Basketball, where we will be moving to the final week of the regular season in the Southern States Athletic Conference championship run. The Lee men and the women will be going to Shorter for a final regular season battle against nationally ranked opponents. We'll also be talking to the seniors as they talk about winding up their careers here at Lee University. Be sure and join us next week. For Coach Marty Rowe and Coach Tommy Brown, I'm Randy Smith. Have a great week, everybody.